Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez, and today we have another lecture on the central path. This time we are discussing the timeline of events or generating a timeline of events. So let's get started with today's lecture. So the central path starts to generate a timeline of events. Again, the, again, the blue arrow signifies motion over time and the primary attack strategy. So imagine that you are generating, we are generating movement and we're generating a timeline of events. So where don't we want to be in this timeline? Very simple. We don't want to be chasing or reacting. We don't want to be late to the party. We don't want to be the one that is chasing the behavior, chasing the movement. This is uh, going to cause some fatiguing. It is frustrating and it generates bad decisions. The quicker you have to make your decisions, the more likely you are to make errors and bad decisions. Where do we want to be on this timeline? Well, again, showing the timeline here, we want to be generating movement. We want to be future thinking. It is efficient. It is reliable. It is mentally peaceful. It is clear-minded decision-making, and it's leading the timeline of events. Now, how far in the future can we be, G be generating behavior? Um, that depends. How long can you make your timeline? That depends. <clears throat> Every timeline goes and it links to another timeline. So the, t the, the, the future generation is inevitable. It's, in, it's indefinite. So generating a timeline of events, your future thinking here, and you are making things happen. You're making things happen, which is called the potential timeline. And that potential timeline can lead you to the next lily pad, the next bunker, the next buoy, the next wormhole, or the next location for breath regulation. So... If you are able to take a snippet of time and you can make the same things happen over and over and over within this snippet of time, this is what I call generating a timeline of events. Now you can take that snippet and, add, and, 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 and have a continuation of that snippet, snippet or you can lead to that snippet. So my idea is simple. If you can take these small clips and you can start extending these clips and linking things together, you can start generating behavior in your opponent. The more behavior you can generate, the easier it is to predict what they're going to do because you're not predicting. You are generating. You are making things happen. You are making them move in the way that you want them to move. And again, this can be forever. This can happen indefinite. You can, you can link timelines and you can kind of um, make things go to particular locations, particular positions, particular configurations, which can trigger the timeline of events. So I believe that this is so powerful. And this is kind of where my jiu-jitsu is. We're far beyond the, you know, the technical know-how. We're far beyond um, <clears throat> the step-by-step -step process. Now what we're doing is we're making our opponent react to what we are doing, react to our movement. And this is not just done through sheer force, but it could also be done through suggestiveness. It could also be done through um, nudging people along. Um, this could be through uh, physical manipulation, of course, certain parts of it. But again, getting the opponent to feel a particular way will make that opponent react and behave in particular ways. Thank you guys for watching. If you like my content, go ahead and cl click like and subscribe down below. If you really like my content, go ahead, to go ahead and click the notification bell. Uh, follow us on the Instagram at JV Jiu Jitsu. Follow us on Twitter at, at Javier Showtime. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon.